packaging industry in recent times has become a major player in product protection, preservation, shelf life extension, presentation and identification and more. Little wonder why the packaging industry in Nigeria is one of the fastest growing industry. These facts were more eminent during an event, Boston Partners Roadshow Nigeria, organized by Bus Switzerland, a packaging and printing machine manufacturer established since 1890. Bus, well known to be a wide range of photography manufacturing machine company, but with digitalization in place, the story is different today. Join us in an exclusive interview with the team from Bust, Switzerland, UK, Italy, Spain, Middle East, and Africa, as we discover Bust's leading innovation in the future of the packaging industry. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are Good welcome evening. to Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been a very fantastic presentation from the team from Bob's. Uh, Bob's is a machine manufacturing company since 1890. That's 120 years. 129 years. Can you tell us the secret behind this? The secret behind this. This is uh, this is a good question. I think the the secret uh, of Bob's is the family. The family behind. Uh, this is a very strong family based in Switzerland and uh, all, all, the, all along the generations they have been able to really make it uh, live you know, going through all these uh, decades and more than 100 century. And we have now uh, the fifth generation of Bob's family uh, preparing to go on for the future. Uh, from inception, Bob's is known to be having a wide range of gravure manufacturing machine. Uh, what is this new story? Or uh, we're hearing about new machines coming online now, digital technology. Where is Box today? Uh, it's a good question. Um, Box T is since a uh, long time uh, leader in gravure machinery. And because the market, uh, let's say 20, 30 years ago, it was clearly the majority of the market was for gravure. And all along this time and these decades, the, the runs are getting shorter and shorter worldwide. And the technology required for, for these uh, shorter runs has changed a little bit. And nowadays, I think the market is much more fragmented. Uh, in terms of uh, printing processes. Now we have review machine, we have CI flexors, we have narrow mid-web inline flexor presses, and since 2017, Box has a Box Digital uh, Division. So we are covering all the needs of the market. Do you see the possibility of rotogravure being free start from the printing industry? No. Gravure, uh, the gravure market will decrease all over the years, but will not disappear because gravure is the best process for long runs, especially in our industry for flexible packaging. Uh, we say, but the market share of gravure will decrease along the year, and digital, narrow, midweb, and CI flex will grow. Okay, so once again, I'd like to say welcome to Nigeria. <laughs> okay, it's been a wonderful experience being here and hearing about the box. I heard about it in Nigeria yes back, and when I heard you were having an event, I said, Wow, Bobs is coming to Nigeria again. <laughs> <laughs> what really informed that movement? You're coming back to Nigeria after um, yes, leaving, and here you are again. I love the mark, I will uh, answer this question. First of all, we believe. <laughs> Africa, not yesterday, not today. We decided to come to Africa since '92, and uh, we were proud to be the first subsidiary out of Europe. It was in Africa, and even before being in, uh, in Japan, before being in Asia, we've been in Africa, Bob's, for the last uh, years. Yes, and uh, we. We live really in Africa. We have a lot of customers in Nigeria, in Cameroon, in, uh, around all the uh, 
continent, continent of Africa, not only in the flexible, but also in the, some other business like corrugated board, like folding carton, like uh, uh, also the uh, tobacco printing. During the uh, conference, the, the trainings, you unveiled a lot of um, equipment, new technology for packaging and all of that. And, I, and since Nigeria is your biggest market in Africa, so how are you planning to transfer these new equipment to Nigeria? And the technology. And the technology. Okay. Here, there is two things to do. First of all, it's supporting the people of Nigeria, supporting the young generation of the Nigeria, and that's why you can see from among of our teams, young Nigerian people, two technicians and one uh, assistant for the sales. So we, we believe on them. So it is about education. Before before offering this kind of equipment, uh, we have to help the uh, Nigerian young generation, the new generation, to adapt this kind of technology by education. And this, whether, as we are doing today, by road shows and by telling people what are uh, the new technology, or also by uh, inviting them later on in a second stage in our competence center, and Mr. Anand, maybe he would be much better positioned than me to tell us about what they have as an academy to teach all these new technology. Absolutely. So for us as, as Bobs, uh, for a lot of our technology centers, we have what we call comp competence centers. Competence centers are basically centers around the world where we have state-of-the-art equipment, as well as all the latest technologies from Bobs to show some of the the, the competence of this technology and where it can reach. Now, for example, for us in Bob's Firenze, we have a full state-of-the-art um, pre-press setup from all of our Revo partners, where we have everything from the plate making to the CTP to even the software that is being used in pre-press. Uh, this is all done because, as uh, my colleague Mr. Noor was saying, is we need to educate the market, right? And this is technology that only Bob's has that we are at a level that is leading the market currently when it comes to technologies. So instead of only give you in theory what you can do, we allow you the chance to see it live. And to add to that, in order to bring it to a place like Nigeria, as I just said, it's all new technology. And the idea of being with Bobs is we don't only sell you machines, it's a partnership. We go with the client in order for sure to make their success because their success equals to ours. Mr. Dennis spoke a lot about Sustainability. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob's is pioneering sustainability and innovation. How has this worked out as a machine manufacturer? How has this worked out with brand owners? I think that um, this is a conversation we've been having not just since the sustainability pledges have been made in early 2018, but we've been collaborating with brand owners over a longer period. So we're very close to the directions that they want to move in. So from a process and an innovation perspective, Bobst has been innovating for a considerable period of time. So you could say we're ahead of the curve. So now that sustainability is really in focus, we're very much on top of the technology and pioneering the technology. And through active collaborations with brand owners, we're driving things forward with them. So our customer is effectively their customer. And we're working together as a, as a tri-party or a wider collaboration throughout the supply chain, throughout the, 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 the link of supplier. So from raw material supplier, to converter, to to to, to, uh, to sorry to um, uh, brand owner, as well as us being with machinery supplier, so it's a, a very very fruitful partnership. Uh, recently at the K Show 2019, and the still there's a collaboration between Dow Chemical and Bob's in a technological breakthrough in terms of plastic packaging. Can you throw more light on this? As you heard today. I mean, our industry is really facing now a big change. How to cope with the, the plastic problems and turn it into opportunity for the planet, but also for the business. And as uh, we understood pretty quickly that now nobody in the industry can make really breakthrough innovations. We need to put all the effort together and big companies like Dow, Bobs. Alpine, Bruckner, uh, and big converters, they need to work together to now find solutions quickly uh, to recyclability, biodegradable films, and also using more paper possible. So it's what we did in Keisho, and uh, the, it was very successful. 
all the, the big brand owners, the big converters came to us. And uh, with Dennis and the team in Box Manchester, we are in the very strong position in this process because we have the best uh, vacuum coating technology in the market. There was a lecture on flexible packaging and something came to my mind, if this flexibility is in place, it means recyclability will be much easier. So can you throw light uh, in with flexible packaging in place? How achievable is recyclability? This is a very good question. Um, this is not easy because if you look at flexible packaging today, is the result of decades of evolution, engineering. It's a very complex product, even though it looks simple. Very complex product involving a lot of different processes. So uh, the industry nowadays is facing the challenge to come, overcome 20 years of engineering into one day solution. So this is the challenge and this is complex. But when you see all the forces and, uh, and uh, the money, financial investment in, in this activity nowadays, I think we will see really a, a quick change and a quick change in the, in the market. Oh, so we should be expecting a breakthrough in business. <laughs> Absolutely. That is really to raise the attention of Bob's in the market, uh, creating business opportunities and, and uh, connecting with the people. Because you have in one day the full attention of the market only for us and our partners. So what we are expecting out of these events is really to connect with the, the local market and then be the preferred supplier of the investments uh, in, the, in the market. And if I may add to that, I think a big part of the roadshow, which is quite underestimated and you don't feel it till after your first roadshow, as a matter of fact, <laughs> uh, it's really learning what the market wants. Because as, as a machine manufacturer, what you think the client wants, what you think the market needs, is completely different at times from what the client, what the market actually needs. In a way, absolutely. But then it's also because even sometimes uh, you feel like the market has a gap it doesn't even know about. So we come as Bobst and we show the potential of the technologies, and then it's the client who tries to help us to understand what we can do with this technology and how we can divert it more into the needs of the market and to know what the market really needs. And being Nigeria, that's a very big market for us and it's a very big target for us as Bobst anyways in the future. It is very important for us to know what our clients need, what is the situation in the market, because what it is in Nigeria is completely different than any other countries. Yep. Good point. Uh, that, that brings us to these machines and the maintenance. We are in a developing country. The technology is not really as advanced as you have in Europe. When these sophisticated machines get to Africa, how do we take care of them? A story like TPM, we have a head of Internet of Things, machines now communicating with people far off. What to tell us what will actually happen when these machines actually arrive in Nigeria? How are we going to be able to take care of them with the engineers sitting on the other end of the world? Yes. So on top actual of service, yeah. I think uh, we need actually to uh, we are not only selling. Let's say I, I was involved with in myself. I was in the service. I'm I'm telling always uh, my <laughs> customers we are not selling steel. Steel. We are selling know-how with the machine. You see, the machine is not only bearing and it, it contains a lot of know-how, the box machine. And we change it really, uh, certainly like uh, many kind of uh, industries, to the internet of things. So, internet is there, we have to use it in a good way. Uh, myself, I did participate recently on many kind of installations. Uh, what we are keen to do today is to involve the customer even in the installation. Before that, we were coming, we were installing the machine and we were commissioning the machine and that's it. That was the model of the last uh, years. In our days, we ask the customer to install his machine with us and then he will understand much better what he has as a machine. So we are now telling the customer, you have a supervised installation. That 
means your people will work and we will assist them. It will be the best opportunity for them, for his operators, for his technician, for, for the, as, as I believe in the young generation. The young generation has to participate today in the installation and then it will be like a teaching uh, and a, 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 what we call a know-how uh, transfer to them. And later on, as we've seen in uh, the demonstration of our uh, service uh, responsible, it's internet thing. Today what I need to repair a machine. I need just a line, a good internet line, and I need, I need a glass. And the same guy who was assisting me in the, in the installation, he can repair him, himself his machine. Because I can see what he can see exactly, in, instantly. I can make the diagnostic of my machine. I can tell him what is happening in his machine. Okay. And even if I need spare parts, I will be prepared to send my technician with the right spare parts. So you see, uh, things, uh, the utilization of the the, the internet of things, it gives us other dimension, how to assist our people, not only in Africa, even, let's say, uh, in, uh, maybe uh, next time in the moon we can sell the machines and then we have no, no problem. You see, the, we use the, the internet for, for, for good things, for good purposes. And if I can add to that, um, internet, uh, the service department is a standalone business unit. So it is a business unit with its own services and products, with its own teams that are dedicated to service regionally in every part of the world, everywhere we have a machine. It is an entire business unit for us and we have entire business plans dedicated to supporting that. What you've seen is only a very quick, uh, let's say, summary of the products and services provided by the service department. But that we can have a roadshow by itself dedicated to our service department, that's for sure. One final question for everybody. You see, we are so excited and we are happy with the amount of knowledge and technology you have achieved. And there are young people that are aspiring to be like you. Thank Some you. of them are Nigerians, African. So what is your typical day like working in Boston? There's a lot of traveling to the day. We live on a plane. We live on a plane, yeah. Like being in Boston. So being in Boston, so you need to be Curious, passionate, uh, light traveling. We are global. We are serving the, the worldwide. Uh, but I think passionate, curious. Uh, you see, yeah. Probably it's what uh, stick very well on, on box people. So what do you think, Denny? I think I think that yeah, one of the things that I like about being part of the Bob's group, part of Bob's family, is, is you need to be incredibly flexible, curious, I think it's very true, but I think you have to be open and willing to work and collaborate, and I think that's been something that I've really enjoyed doing, whether it be with a supplier, a customer, a brand owner, whatever, you know, we're, we're, we're open to collaboration, I think that's what's keeping us where we are yeah, through absolutely. the innovation in the group, so that's definitely something that you know, I particularly uh, engage with. And I think that will continue to, to progress and develop stuff further. Thank, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, you want to know my experience? <laughs> um, I think I think Eric really highlighted, highlighted um, something that was, I think a lot of people might complain about, but I, I personally love it, which is uh, you spend every day on a flight, right? And, and that is an eye-opening experience because you see things that I didn't come originally from the packaging industry. So joining Bob's was something very eye-opening because this is an everyday product where you never think of what goes behind it. And you realize the world that is behind it, and especially being Bob's because we are in so many markets, it allows you to see so much of it and seeing how different packaging is from one country to another, to different cultures and how that affects it. Um, it is absolutely incredible. And I was even discussing this with Eric a while ago. Um, our, with clients, it's more of a partnership. We don't only deal with him with the, with the machine, we also give our consultancy and our knowledge when it comes to knowing every single part of the industry, things that on, on, on paper is not my job, it's not his job, it's not anyone's job, but it's like Noor said, it's exactly, yeah, you're, you're involved in every project, you know, and where as soon as the, the deal is done, you are there with the client and you're like, our machine has arrived. You know, it's our machine that has arrived. I can yeah, imagine. Absolutely. So Certainly Thank for you. Africa, I believe that the box making, let's say in general, in Africa will bring us a lot, a lot of opportunities. We have a lot of beautiful, I'm African by the way, I'm from Tunisia. Wow, that's so interesting. So I'm African in blood, in everything, <laughs> in feeling, so we have a lot of 
beautiful product in Africa. We have a lot of opportunities. We have a lot of things to sell to Europe. We have a lot. We have beautiful weather. We have the fruits. We have we have the quality food and this and that. So what what miss Africa to be a good exporter to, to Europe is packaging. The packaging will add value to our product in Africa. The, the packaging is really will keep us in the top of the cellar, whether it is in juices or oysters or whatever. And yeah, the packaging for Africa is very important. It's very important. It is our chance as African to to be a leader in a lot of uh, domain. We cannot maybe compete on fabricating cars and jet and uh, electronics, but feeding the world is our job, and we, we will do it thanks to the right packaging. This is a hell of commitment, and we will be back. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. And we are waiting. <laughs> wow! From rotogravure to flexo, digital printing, Boss is pioneering packaging sustainability. Amazing is just a word. Packaging is very important for Africa because with the right packaging, Africa can feed the world. On Nigerian Packaging TV, you deserve only the best. Thank you for joining us. Bye.